gets it done. Lysel Iglesias takes the rock and he rolls. Last couple of outings have been tough. Now he looks to look like he did on opening night, which was nearly perfect, throwing eight pitches in a save. And a save situation for Iglesias. See if the focus is more so. By the way, the runner. Obviously, the situation stays the same. Bo Bichette is running at second base. Vlad Guerrero waits on deck. Oscar Torres, Hernandez, I should say. Struck out three times, singled in a run back in the first. Good speed, good athleticism right there. These two can't get together. Suzuki and Iglesias. Good fastball. Go. Running fastball. Well, of course it's running, because why would Kurt Suzuki have an easy pitch to catch tonight? <laughs> yep. That last half inning he had to deal with was wild and woolly. One and two the count. Dropped down sidearm with the slider, fouled off. Just too much of the plate on that one, though, for Iglesias. He's got to make sure that's a little off the plate. Maybe bring that arm angle just enough. Maybe a hair or two higher bigger break to it you think about it a little bit up and you get that tilt later break that have more of a side-to-side -side effect got him that's strike three bottom tier of the strike zone change up. pitch there how about a change up there for Iglesias he's got a great plus change up and that's a strike as well it's a pretty deliberate late call you can see why there might have been frustration but it was a strike not looking change up. That's all over the plate. That's in the middle of the plate. Turn it over. You see the circle change up. Very little rotation of the seams. It's interesting. Both these teams have had a little bit of disagreement with the strike zone, but with all due respect to both the teams, they're wrong. He's been right on it. Very, very Yeah, they're good. wrong, and that, yep. that's understandable. You're in the heat of the battle, and I think the deliberate call by by Eric Backus there was what caused the frustration there, but that was a strike. And just like the Dexter Fowler, even Anthony Rendon, they were strikes. He's been really, really consistent behind the plate. Runner stays at second base. Ladd looks at a slider that misses outside think about the ability to change arm angles and change speeds you go from a three pitch pitcher to like a seven or eight pitch pitcher now do you always need that many that's up for Iglesias to decide if that makes sense they sell deals a fastball that dives oh that was a change, change of pace, pace. actually yeah his arm action on his changeup is fantastic. I can, I mean, I thought the same thing. And then you see how the bottom drops. That's the only way you could tell it's a changeup because his arm action is exactly the same as his fastball, which you want. Slider, and I think they had to get crossed up there. And that that base runner doesn't matter at all. The focus, the batter. You're up by two. But that is looks like a cross-up. You have that quick conversation like that. Again, our heart goes out to Kirk Suzuki. Now he's expecting a fastball inside part of a the A direct play. shot to yep. the leg. Yep. It's happened uh, multiple times here today for some reason. Jose bless his heart. And he has been on every pitch. The separation could be, I can't say it enough, about leaving the offense and the defense with a divided line. Two and two, the count. That pitch just outside. It's a great take. A young hitter, you want to be the hero, 
That pitch is barely off the plate. What a take that was for Vlad Jr. Lourdes Gurriel waits on deck. Got him! A breaking ball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts with that runner at second. Good adjustment by Marcel Iglesias. And back number 13, Lourdes Gurriel. Stayed on top. See, that's that downward action on there when you get on top of the baseball with the slider. Swing and miss. Don't do it. Only Bo could do that. That's Bo Jackson, not Bo Bichette. <laughs> Looking for a clean inning as he had on opening day. He went around, 0 and 1 the count. Just did go around upon appeal there. When Wolcott on that. Well, he's been really, really good, as that changeup has been for Glaciers tonight so far. One strike away from a road victory. It really looks like he's staying on top much better and slowing everything down to catch up with that arm. Exactly. That will do it. Guess who's five and two? The Angels. Off to an amazing start this year. They head out on the road. They are victorious. And they do so with an extra inning win over the Blue Jays. They have taken on the heavyweights in the American League. Chicago, Houston, now Toronto. And they have rolled to a 5-2 and two start. Boy, Fletch with a clutch hit driving in two. Kurt Suzuki, phenomenal behind the plate. Rysel Iglesias bounced back in a save situation, getting the job done. Iglesias solid, had a double, but all-around effort. Mike Trout, by the way, Mike Trout, again tonight, three hits, including a home run, double, and a single. Could have been a triple if it wasn't for his old buddy, Richick, making an outstanding play in center field. Yeah, just a fun night, all involved. And again, you don't want to lose sight of the positives for Griffin Canning. He did a lot of good things tonight. There